Hey guys, sure shot midget here doing a video on my GMP WOC. So we're gonna take a look at the mag first. This is a uh, update to just share with you guys what exactly is going on with this because I just got it. All right, here we go. Mag. Uh, this thing's crap. It uh, it leaks from the top. This pin and back here. I don't like this type of mag. It's King Arms because the King Arms have all these pins. That's just a bad system. They can leak from all these pins. That's just terrible. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so issues with that right off the bat. I got it used and he said he didn't know if it leaked because he didn't have gas to try in it. So, bullcrap. Uh, let's take a look at the lower now. So, LE stock, regular pistol grip, not, you know, those are perfectly fine with me. Internally, this thing, as you can see, it, it is super dirty. I'm not wasting my lube on this yet because I cannot shoot it. Um, but I assure you, uh, I ordered some Evike lube, and I also have about a half a can left. So, I will be lubing this thing as soon as I get parts to shoot it with. Um, so, I think this is the challenge kit parts. I think, not exactly sure but i think this is all challenge kit here skull for old challenge kit but i'm not exactly sure this you know doesn't have a roller bearing that leads me to believe that it is the challenge kit but i haven't seen a challenge kit with the uh with the um skull frog may actually maybe i have but the longer barrel they just have the cqb barrel so maybe the i don't know i think this is all uh, po uh not pot metal uh, aluminum in here whether or not the bolt does not like to lock back, um, the hammer is perfectly fine. I don't like the roller bearings because you have to glue them in or solder them in. I, I don't like the roller bearings on them. Um, so this is perfectly fine. As you can see, the knocker there works perfectly fine. Um, I cleaned it out with a bunch of t uh, ear swab cleaners. Just It's so dirty, but I cleaned as best as I could. Um, and I do not wear this thing out, so. I like everything here. I don't plan on changing anything unless I change the stock. But I don't have money to do any of this, so. Upper right here. Longer barrel, 14 and a half inch. Flip up sight. Alright, let's look at the internals. Alright, so from what it looks to me, this hop-up system has no effect on the BB. As you can see down there, there is there is a lip. Like when I look down the barrel, there is some bucking there that is pushed down. So it leads me to believe that this is hop is on. I plan on using .25 gram BBs on this. But I went and shot it in my house from like 30 feet away and it looked like it was shooting straight. But I can't tell if it's, it has barely any hop or not much hop. So I might be um, taking this thing apart You know, when I get the mag and get a new nozzle for it. And uh, put those in and I find out that... Uh, you know, it's not shooting very well, I'll disassemble it and fix it myself. <clears throat> That's that. Let's take a look at the charging handle is for a real gun. Um, it's aluminum, it's not steel, so I will be buying a steel one as soon as this one breaks. Because the charging handle, in my opinion, is very important. I mean, you can still fire the gun without it, but like... This just gives it the realism factor. You can, you know, pull it back. So. Also, I forgot to mention the buffer is a real for real air 15 also. And the spring is stock GMP. And then I have a few quarters down there to get it so that uh it the gets to the point where the bolt barely locks back. This buffer lock looks like it's gonna break really soon. Um, but in my opinion, I'm not going to replace it because, like, this gun will shoot without it. You know, the only thing, the only thing that this buffer lock is doing is keeping the spring from going out. So all you have to do is just put the upper lower together, ha push, you know, you could even use your finger and have it in there and start closing the receiver. And as soon as that bolt touches the receiver, it can't spring forward in the trigger system. So then you just put it all the way down. And, you know, when you take it apart, it's just going to spring out. I honestly don't mind that. So, I don't think I'm going to mess with um, the buffer lock. 
just not that's not me. I don't need it. Um Yeah. Now the bolt. This thing is super dirty. This nozzle, look at that. It is freaking torn up. It leads me to believe, because I can move this back and forth, I think that only one side of this nozzle connector is there, and the other side that's supposed to hook up to the ramp is not there, so that's why you can move it. Also, this is so worn down that when it shoots, it will not, uh, I try to cut parts off, but it just bullcrap. Barely cycles. I mean, just look at it. It's so bad. <clears throat> Sorry. So I'm going to replace... Uh, I have it lubed up and everything, but I'm going to replace this nozzle. I'm not sure how to replace it, so I'll have to look on uh, YouTube. Um. So if you know, please comment on this if it's supposed to have another part on that side to make it so it doesn't move like this. Um, another nozzle guide, because this is a nozzle guide here. I mean, I could buy a whole new bolt uh, King Arms for 40 bucks, but I heard that King Arms nozzles aren't very good, and that's, you know, 40 bucks. I'd just rather buy, like, a used GMP or a used King Arms, just, just the nozzle. But I don't really know how to install it into this. So, if you could help me, that would be really nice. With that... I don't, I mean, I love GMP, like, this is a sick gun, but, like, it's not working, so, I don't know. This thing obviously can't handle abuse from people that don't treat their guns very well. So I can lock the bolt back with my hand, see how it locks back, but when you pull the bolt back, you can barely pull it back, like I can't pull it back anymore because of the quarters. So I made it, I have like four quarters in there, so that it'll do this. I'm not going to worry about buying another bolt lock, it's not a big deal to me. Um, if I run out of ammo and I hear it stop shooting, I can just tap this and fire one shot and it'll lock back and then I can be like, oh, switch mags. magazine in doesn't have much spring power behind it partly because it's not lubed but doesn't like to go all the way forward either so I would fire this but I do not have a working mag so it does fire. I have fired a few shots out of it. And from 30 feet, it looked like it was shooting perfectly straight. So, Thanks for watching, guys. Rate, comment, subscribe. Um, like I said, a new nozzle, uh, a new magazine for sure. Possibly a new bolt lock. Um, possibly a new hop-up system. So, Or bucking or something in the hop-up. So other than that, it's pretty nice. So, thanks for watching, guys. Rate, comment, subscribe. Um, I traded a gun for this, and I knew that it was going to be, you know, somewhat not working. But um, the guy bought this charging handle and the buffer and then sent it to me. So, he spent 30 bucks on parts for this. But he literally, he was convinced that it worked because he was a gas gun noob. So, he was convinced that that mag worked perfectly fine. I had no idea the nozzle was crap. Um... So those are parts I'm gonna have to eat. So I'm looking, I'm looking from in between sixty bucks for a mag and a nozzle to eighty bucks for a mag and a nozzle if I buy the whole bolt. So we'll see. Um, I'm trying to buy. If you have any, just a nozzle laying around, I will pay twenty dollars shipped for a GMP nozzle or something nozzle, even if it's used. I will need pictures to see if it, you know, looks good um, or. Uh, comment and tell me about that uh, nozzle guide. I'm pretty sure that it's supposed to have two nozzle guides. The one's supposed to be inside the bolt and the other one's supposed to be outside of the bolt. 
Um, so just let me know. I kind of want to buy a new bolt, but, like, I heard that uh, King Arms wasn't very good, so I'll have to look on reviews for that. But if I see that people have good reviews and stuff, um, I probably will just go ahead and purchase a whole new bolt. Um, King Arms bolt. Um, and a GMP mag. So, thanks for watching.